So we're upgrading my wife's desktop. Uh, it's an i7, well, 3770, whatever. I added an intake fan and an exhaust fan because it didn't have either. And the 1050 in here doesn't require external power. And this stock power supply, this cable management was a little bit better by default because this computer is several years old. But um, I actually swapped it out and that power supply was bad. Can't turn the computer off. And then we put this back in, everything's fine. So this is a max 350 watt power supply. For 30 seconds, it does like 300 watts. So I bought a new power supply to throw in here. So when the 1660 that I ordered comes, I can throw it in here. New egg delivered. And there she be, 450 watts, just enough. Instruction booklet, power. This is not semi-modular, I only spent like 29 bucks on this thing. <laughs> I had new eight points and uh, getting a $15 millinery bait, so pretty good deal. But a semi-modular would be better in case you don't need some of these connections and you don't have all the spaghetti everywhere. But let's open this thing up. It's cute and it's small. So specifically we need uh, it to be able to power a GTX 1660. So 450 watts is enough for all the stuff combined. And then there's the little fan. It's probably like a 135, 130, something like that. So let's go ahead and swap it out. The old one is out. And the new one is going in. So this one actually had the 8-pin CPU power, and I didn't realize it at first. I was just going to go ahead and put in, like, the first half of it. But it does break apart, so the 4-pin labeled CPU is in there. Then the fan, the other fan, and all the spaghetti is pushed up behind where there would be a second DVD drive. Uh, and then this is going to get put in there, too. This is for the graphics card whenever it comes in a couple days. And I will follow this up with a part 2 of when we take out this 1050 and put a 1660 in there and see how she performs. And one day I upgrade this stock Intel cooler, but it actually keeps it pretty cool. Never above like 50s. So, uh, yeah, wait for part two. It'll be linked below. And let's see if it turns on, actually. Moment of truth, press the power button. There's no lights inside there, but fan is on. And you can see the LED light flashing. And we do have a screen. Woohoo! And it looks like we're back in action. Just waiting for the new graphics card to come. Stay tuned for part two.